So how's it going everybody? Uh, today we're actually going to be talking about something. It's an accessory, but it's an accessory that people ask me about a lot. Um, you guys can see here I have a Tesla Model Y. Uh, this is a 2020, but this has this panoramic glass roof, right? The roof goes all the way from the front pillar all the way to the back. Now there is a pillar down there and then it goes right into the trunk glass. So um, I love the view. I love how you can see through it and just it just makes you feel like you're in a convertible, which is fantastic. Uh, it is a heavily tinted window. Uh, you would notice from the outside that you can't even see in. It's so tinted. It does a pretty good job of blocking the sun, but I can say at 6'5", my head is about three inches away. You get about an inch down from the roof, and you can 100% feel the heat. In fact, on a hot day, it's so hot you can't even touch the top. Uh, my head obviously doesn't touch the roof, but you can feel some heat transfer coming through. So what I wanted to do, and as you can see, we have a car seat back here. Um, it's really for the baby. Now, she loves looking through the roof, but I do know on long road trips, whenever we go somewhere, I would like to be able to put something up there so that she can sleep back there, doesn't have the sun shining in her face, but also uh, it blocks a little bit more of the heat. So sit back, relax. You guys are watching The Tall Tesla Guy. And what I have, and now this came from my friends over at the EV shop. Now there is a link down in the description below. It'll actually save you 10% uh, off your order. Use uh, Tall Tesla Guy 10, um, which is which is great. Uh, you know, drops the price down a little bit. It's not too expensive as it is, but this is about the size, right? So it's about uh, maybe three feet by two feet or say uh, something like that. It would fit fine in the the front rear trunk area the sub trunk uh which is i think where i'm gonna i'm gonna store it uh like i said i am not gonna keep this out all the time it's really only gonna come out when we go on trips but i wanted to test it i want to see how hard it was to put in there and uh you know full disclosure i did take this out of the bag um it's designed to fold itself back up almost like a, a a window shade you would put in the front of the window when you park in a parking lot or something like that um so you know you move it just a little bit and it comes back together uh, I tried it a couple of different ways. I tried putting the clips in first, but then it's hard to connect it. I tried putting the clips on the device and putting it up, but then they just fall off um, and it's kind of frustrating. So um, what I've decided to do is actually try to unfold it in the car, get it up there, and then clip it all the way around as much as I can. Now it's a little bit more difficult with the baby seat back here because I'm gonna have to go around the car to get to the different areas and stuff like that. But that's kind of what I want to show you guys today and then uh, we'll go from there. So. As you can see, I'm in the garage, but it is a warm day outside. Um, I'm not actually going to measure the heat coming up through or anything like that, but um, I will say that it is definitely warm, so that's something to kind of look forward to. But, uh, you know, within the bag, uh, you get a couple of things in there. So you get clips. Uh, there's actually 10 in here, 10 clips uh, that you get. And these clips, they actually have a flat space on the side, and then they have a little hook part here. And this is the part that actually grabs the metal ring that's around the, uh, around the shade when you put it up there. So you get 10 of these, a little plastic case to hold them in. And then the actual device, this is it. It's it's designed to be like this. Um, we're going to uh, give it a shot. So um, so I'm going to start in the front and then I'm moving away to the back. There is actually a tag in the back of this uh, that says the name. It's called Top Fit. Um, and you can kind of see here too, it's actually a translucent you know, kind of meshy material. Uh, it doesn't block it out completely, but it blocks it out enough to block the sun. And that's kind of what we're going for. So. Okay, so the hardest part, like I said, is getting it unfolded. Unfortunately, I'm doing this by myself, so I also have to uh, do the clips, but putting the clip in and then getting it uh, kind of situated is what I've found to be the uh, kind of best solution for it. So you're gonna notice that uh, they come in a little bit easier as you move on. And like I said, they did give you 10 of them, which is wonderful. But uh, I, I would think that you would need all 10 of them anyway. You know, lock into place, which would be nice. Uh, they do want you to get it up there, but as far as outside of that, you kind of have to make it work. Uh, you know, and then the trim pieces around the car, they're not, um, 
you know, super tight in a lot of spots. So that makes it more difficult as well. Parts of it are, are really tight. Like I said, I, you know, you get it to the sides and it's, it's a really tight fit. Um, it's when you're not on the sides that you're gonna realize it is not a tight fit. Now I tried to put them in the same spot. Uh, and we're gonna move to the back. So, I mean, like I told you guys, um, you know, it's a little difficult to work around the child seat, but uh, you know, if you don't have the child seat, then uh, it won't be an issue for you. Uh, so we're gonna try this. So it does hold your uh, things pretty well. I mean, it's, it's not that it's a difficult fit. It's just so ready to kind of collapse and that's what makes it more difficult to do. I mean, as far as like accessories go, uh, it's one of the easier ones to install than say maybe, you know, say for maybe like a center console insert or something like that. But um, it, it did take a minute. There was a lot of uh, uh, big words going around when I first tried this, uh, be honest with you. But uh, after you get it, it, it seems to be going in pretty good now. So there you have it. I mean, once I started going, it only took me maybe uh, five minutes to get going. Uh, you can see this. Um, people talked about that, how, um, you know, that there is, there's some kind of sag in here. I'm 6'5", my head's still not hitting the ceiling, so it's not a problem for me. If you were taller, it might be an issue. Uh, my head's still about three inches above it. Uh, I mean, like I said, I'm not gonna keep this out all the time. I love the roof so much that I'm just not gonna do it unless it's a really hot day or we're going on a big trip. Uh, I wanted to make sure I could get it in easily, and it does, it does go in pretty easy. Um, but, uh, you know, I really hope you guys enjoyed watching the video. If you made it this far, you know the routine. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe, jump down in the description and get you 10% off. Uh, something like this, and there's actually thousands of products on there, the EV shop, if you check them out too, but, um, uh, you know, this one in particular is on there as well. So, you know, definitely check it out. And, uh, you know, I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I hope you guys are staying cool, using whatever you can to get there. And uh, stay safe out there. Thanks for watching, everybody.